I'm going to talk about why I'm going to give the Star Wars prequels another shot. So later this month, I am going to be playing in a Star Wars role-playing game, the D6, the 1987 to about 1999 version of the West End Games Star Wars D6 system uh, online. I will post a link in the comments, or uh, you can check out Matt Click's page, A Fistful of Dice, on January 31st, 2017, to see that game. So in preparation for that... The rule set we're using is a fan compiled version called the Reup, revised, expanded and updated. Updated also meaning it includes prequel content in the expanded world. So I thought I am going to take a second look at the prequels. Here's the deal. Episode 1, I was high school age and watched it a number of times. It was a big deal to have a new Star Wars movie. Episode 2 I watched two days before its release on my Sega Dreamcast on a VCD. And saw it a few more times. Episode 3 I saw for the first, last, and only time at the midnight showing the opening day. Mm-hmm. Here's why I have difficulty with the prequels. One is I was so into the original trilogies, the source books, all these little details, the novelizations, that I knew all these little details that were diverging from what the prequels were starting to be. Example, in the Return of the Jedi novelization, which comes from an expanded screenplay. Owen Lars, Luke's Uncle Owen. Did you know that he's noted as Obi-Wan Kenobi's brother? Prequels? No mention of this, he's just some dude. Such a cool thing that I thought. And they didn't go anywhere with it. So there's these little discrepancies, metachlorians. Would have been nice to know about that in the original trilogy, but whatever. We can't start this. Watch the uh, Red Letter Diaries, and you will never be able to watch the prequels again, but I'm going to try to do this. Overly polished CGI is another thing that was tough for me. You have this gritty world in the original trilogy and this polished, slick world in the of CGI in the second trilogy. Bad acting. It's like sand. It's everywhere. Yeah, how can I not forget that scene? Here's why I'm taking a second look. Since the last time I've watched a prequel movie, which would have been whenever uh, Revenge of the Sith came out, I'm a film school graduate. That was my trade. That's what I graduated in. So <laughs> it would have been uh, 99, 2002, Yeah, uh... 12 years ago since I've seen a prequel. I think I may have a different perspective. I don't know if I'd go so far as to say appreciation, but a different perspective on the films and the screenplays having been more educated in that. I also have some grace for George Lucas. Love him, hate him. This was his world. He changed so many things with what he did with these films granted joseph campbell's work mythology he drew from that but he framed it in a way that culturally resonated and we have this whole thing that is star wars a juggernaut uh, in its own right i also want to be able to relate to a younger audience who has seen a lot of prequels that knows about this stuff or like in the game I'm going to be playing it's just reality there is a prequel world get used to it that's how it is also as there's more of the Force Awakens the episode 8 even Rogue One as these tie-ins keep coming you're not gonna be able to escape it I don't think at least to some extent 
as much as they seem to have avoided some of the worst of the prequels. And finally, as with any grief process, is acceptance. Accepting that the prequels are a part of the lore of the Star Wars universe. So, I'm going to give them another shot. In the comments, let me know what you think of them. Let me know if you've learned anything or appreciated anything or given them a second chance or if you just are, aren't going to go there. So, I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, maybe I'll update you on, as I'm watching through these again, my thoughts on a decade-plus-later look at the prequels. Take care.